Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of personal branding and how to sell yourself online without feeling like yuck. So I can't tell you how many um, creative entrepreneurs and small business owners that I talk to that just feel really crappy about the idea of self-promotion. Self-promotion is something that I um, have talked to a lot of creatives about, especially um, in my coaching work. And something that always pops up is the feelings that happen when we talk about promoting ourselves and selling ourselves. The reason that this is especially true of creatives and creative professionals or makers or artists is because what you do is so personally tied to who you are as a person. And that's a beautiful thing because who you are as a person is lovely, it's wonderful, it's actually what makes us want to buy from you. However, we really need to reframe how we're looking at selling ourselves. Um, I think that over the years, you know, we've seen a lot of different tactics with selling that just feel slimy or sketchy um, or, you know, it's just, it doesn't give us good feelings or impressions about those brands or those businesses. So I want to talk to you about how you can go about self-promotion without feeling like crap. So something that is super important for creatives to focus on is their branding, but more specifically, personal branding. And what I mean by this is you're not just branding your business, your products and services, you're also integrating who you are with that. So personal branding is all about integrating you, the creator, you, the person with your brand. And the reason that we do this is because that is how you're going to be so much more effective in building emotional connection with people online who are meeting you for the first time. You're going to be able to start cultivating and nurturing relationships that are built on, you know, authenticity and meaning and creating impact, um, making a positive impact on people's lives. And you're also going to be able to tell the story of who you are and what has inspired you to start your business or to build the thing and make the thing that you make. Something that I have learned over the years and in my experience in the marketing industry and as a creative myself is that you could make anything. Anyone can make anything and sell it. But the thing that's really going to sell it for you and really make a difference is, is the creator behind it. So people really want to know more about you. That's actually what's going to help connect them to the work that you do. And that's going to help them create these, these ways to understand uh, the inspiration behind the piece and why you do what you do, which then, as a result, creates emotional connection. Why is emotional connection important? Because that is, a lot of the times, what motivates people to buy things. They need to feel emotionally connected to a thing or it needs to um, really clearly articulate how it can help them in their lives in order for them to invest in it. And so a lot of times with the things that creatives do for a living, um, it's about sharing and showcasing the person behind the product or service so that the buyer, the person who wants to connect with you and build a relationship with you, will be motivated and super inspired to buy from you and support you. So some tangible examples of that is, so when I was selling my art, at first I was kind of hiding behind the art, hiding behind the brand. And I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this or know someone who is also hiding themselves because it's, it's scary. It's a vulnerable thing to put yourself out there. But I noticed a huge difference when I started to share myself more and more and more instead of just sharing the story of my art. I was sharing why I was called to create art. So when I started creating art, it was a therapeutic thing. It was just for me. I'm self-taught, I've never had a lesson in my life. It was just something that I did to get out of my head. It was sort of meditative. So I actually shared the story of that. I also shared the story of how I accidentally started selling it because I posted a picture of my art online for my family to see when I was away at university. And then that's when people jumped on and said, hey, can I buy that? That's what really sparked my business there. And so truly, when you're able to share those things and then share what inspires you to keep creating and then to take it even further, how do you make the thing that you make? What makes the way that you make that thing unique? So maybe you are very passionate about the environment. So you make sure that every material and every tool that you use is eco-friendly and sustainably sourced. 
um, people on the other end of that who also share the same values and beliefs as you are more inclined to choose you over the next guy who is doing the same thing for a living but doesn't care about the environment and doesn't invest in that. These are the little details that are really going to help you stick out and that in a nutshell is what personal branding is all about. It's making sure that you're integrating yourself with your brand. So I want you to just think about the things that you can be doing to share yourself and your brand instead of hiding behind it. And then when it comes to self-promotion, there are some super easy ways for you to promote yourself that does not feel icky. Uh, what you want to do, like I said, is really focus on story. As human beings, we are so drawn to storytelling and we really want to understand the story behind a thing. So if you're able to tell the story of, like I said, why you have been called to make this thing or, or create this experience for people, that is the first part of self-promotion. The second part is making sure that you are either informing people, um, you are educating them or entertaining them. And so all those things essentially are creating value and serving people. So instead of thinking about self-promotion as, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, I want you, and also buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. I want you to think about self-promotion as a way to share stories and also as a way to impact people's lives for the better. So how can you be showing up every day and sharing things that actually help people in their lives before you ever ask for a sale? In fact, that's the thing that's going to help you make sales is if you're showing up as yourself you're showcasing your, your talents and your expertise. And then the things that you're sharing in your online uh, marketing and promotions, um, you're sharing gifts of knowledge and gifts of value. And you can share these things for free. Uh, obviously, you don't want to share everything that you do for free because you still need to make a living. But if you start to show up and share gifts of knowledge and value, um, by the time you act, excuse me, by the time you actually provide a thing that people can pay for, they're gonna to think to themselves, holy shit, if she provided all that value for free and she is the expert, I wonder what her paid products or programs are gonna do for me. And that's really the magic of it. So I really wanted to share that with you. I hope that this helps you start to look at self-promotion differently and branding differently. Um, because when, when we're investing into a side hustle or a business or we're putting ourselves out there to build the lives that we love, a necessary part of that is selling yourself and it doesn't have to be all shitty. So I want you to know that. Um, let me know if you have any additional questions that I can address about this um, in future videos. And as always, you are not alone in this. I've got your back. I have been where you are and I'm here to help you with inspired tips and tricks to help you in your life. And if you are looking for more, um, more help, more assistance and more resources, to get your brand and business going. I have a free ebook all about how to sell and grow on Instagram. And I also have a course for you um, available as well. And I will put those links to that course down below. And that course is all about becoming known for what you do and attracting and selling to your dream clients with ease. It's really easy, guys. It does not have to feel shitty. It does not have to feel hard. So thank you for listening. If you want more, you just click the links below and it is all yours. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.